said again. Hope everyone is doing good or doing well. Uh, welcome back to the homestead. Had some questions about the agouti gene. And these little guys, these are agouti or agouti is the gene that causes this wild type pattern. Okay. If the rabbit looks like a wild type or looks like a, a rabbit that you see running around on the ground in the wild, that is the agouti gene. Okay. These are, these babies are squirrely girl. Uh, these belong to squirrely girl. She is also an agouti, just like him. Just like him. Um, that is also called, depending on the breed, uh, agouti is also called a chestnut. And uh, uh, I know in New Zealand, they, they call it a chestnut. They call it a chestnut in the Netherlands like this. Um, or, or they'll say chestnut or a chestnut agouti. They mean the same thing. Um, the uh, now, if you have the same thing in a mini rex, that's called. Uh, they call that castor. Castor is what it's called in a mini rex. The same gene. Okay, it's the same gene that affects it, but it looks a little bit different on a castor in mini rex because of their short fur. Okay. So, and I do have one of those, and I'll, I'll, if I don't get it into the video, I haven't introduced him yet, so that's coming, you'll see him. But this wild type, this is a goody, okay? This one right here, this is the same rabbit. You remember the video where we talked about the dilution gene? This, basically, is this rabbit hit with the dilution gene, okay? And what happens is, here, you see all this black that's, that's ticked and mingled into the fur? Okay, well on this one, that black has turned to blue. Okay, this is the same rabbit, other than this one has blue, blue hairs where this one has black. Other than that, this is basically the same rabbit. Okay, this is called an opal. This is an opal bunny. And I don't know if this is a he or a she, let's see who we're, let's see who we're dealing with. Okay, that looks like a little boy. So we've got a pair of little bucks here. Now, the main thing that you need to know to recognize the agouti gene is you pick up the rabbit, just like this, and you go, and you blow in his coat and it makes a little crater. And when you look in that crater, when that hair lays down, you're going to see rings of color. Okay? Underneath is going to be like a, a pretty dark slate blue. Now, don't you jump down from there. Underneath is going to be like a dark slate blue. And then above that, there's going to be some yellow or a brownish color. And then on the very tips, on a lot of the hairs, there's going to, they're going to be tipped with the black. Okay? So, let me see if I can do this like this okay you probably can't see it but pick you up pick up your agouti rabbit you're gonna see rings of color when you you're gonna see rings of color okay that is a goody um, pretty much any um, a tan rabbit if you do that up here on a, on a or, or an otter this is gonna be just like self color the same color it's gonna be Pretty much the same color down the hair shaft, except it will have a lighter under color down inside here, just like this rabbit does. See how it's lighter as you get closer to the skin? Well, not on a self, and, and I will show you a self, but you've seen plenty of selfs, okay? Um, the, but this is a goody. A goody is, a goody, otter, and self are, are the three, are the three, uh, alleles or the genes that can be on the a locus of the genotype and they determine color pattern okay this is a color pattern okay and the, and like i said the main way to identify it is the color rings but other than that it's also going to show patterns just like an otter hey jazz hey buddy okay See the rings of light color around the eye? See that? 
see the little markings in the nose, just like an otter. Look here underneath this. Look here underneath his chin. Here, come here, buddy. Pull your head back a little bit. Here, here, do it like this. Now, I'll come here. <laughs> They're so tiny, tiny. My fingers are too fat. See the see the light color under the chin and on the belly, just like an otter. Okay. So. If you get confused between an otter and a goody, just remember, the agouti has the color rings when you blow in the fur. The otter will not. The otter should not have that. Okay? And I will have to get a different breed. I'm gonna go grab an otter. We just had an otter out here in the last video, but you know We're making another video now, so we'll bring him back, but I got to put these guys up. We'll be right back with you All right, here we are back And we've got a pair of lilacs here A little lady so we know who we're dealing with here and that's a little lady in fact this one right here both of these are sold this one right here already has a name this is Lila and she's gonna be going to she's gonna be eight weeks old next week and she's gonna be going to her forever home okay now these two right here working we're still working with the a locust now Okay, I showed you a goodies. Now these two, they look the same, but see the ears? See this chestnut brownish color here in the ear? See the belly? Look at her belly. See? This is an otter. It's signified on the A locus by an AT. The T standing for T. She is a lilac otter. Okay. See her little, see her little, see her nose, see the spot of color right in her nostrils. And she's got this little color under her chin here. She's got some on her chest. See here? Right here. Isn't that pretty? Uh, yeah. She, she too is sold. She will be, you know, I have to look at my paperwork. I think she is going to somebody at the Benton, Arkansas show in mid March. I think she is going to be, we're going to be delivering her there. Uh, this young lady, I think, is going to be going home with her new owner next week. Uh, that's irrelevant for the video, but this being an otter, uh, I showed you a goodie, otter and self. Those are the three mutations or gene types or pattern types that you can find on the A locus of the rabbit's genotype, okay? It's going to be capital A for a goodie, A T for otter or tan and a uh, lowercase a for self okay now um the self color here is the most recessive or the least dominant okay otter is recessive to a goody but dominant over self so here's the deal and a goody rabbit can carry otter Otter cannot carry a duty because it's more dominant than otter. Okay? Now, the self rabbit here, the self rabbit, if, if, if this is indeed a self rabbit, it's going to have 
both of its both of its genes on the A locus are going to be the lowercase a or the recessive a, the self gene, and it can't carry anything else. So when you have a self-colored rabbit, one thing that you can know for sure, the other things you can kind of mix and match a little bit. In the self, when you have a self-colored rabbit, it's got lowercase a, lowercase a on the two on the two uh, for the two alleles, okay, and it can't it's not in other words it's not carrying anything else so if you breed this rabbit to another self rabbit it's going to produce nothing but self rabbits okay now if you breed an otter an otter can carry self it can have a t and a okay a t will be dominant so that means if it's a t a you're going to see otter. You're going to see so. If you breed, this rabbit can carry self, but it can't carry a goody. A goody can carry either one. You can see a large case A on their on their uh, A locus. You can see a large case A if it's an agouti rabbit. You'll see a large case A, and it can carry either A T in the second spot or it can carry A. It can carry both but it can carry either one. Okay, now Squirrely Girl, I have determined that she, being an agouti, she carries the AT, she carries the otter gene. Or no, no it's not Squirrely Girl, I'm sorry, that's Salt. Uh, yeah, Salt, Salt being a red-eyed white, but she is covering up what I believe is, she was uh, genetically, I think she's a black otter. Okay, but we'll get into that, that we won't get into red-eyed white today, that's a, that's a whole different uh, ball of wax. Uh, but, um, let's see, I don't know if I'm telling you everything you need to know, but this is the A locus, okay? And it's, and it's color pattern type, okay? Now, remember on the, or re remember on the Agouti rabbit, I told you you would see color rings? Now, on these guys, you won't see color rings. You see, basically, it should get a little bit lighter down toward the skin, the undercolor. On any color rabbit, it should get a little lighter, but all down the hair shaft, pretty much, you see the same color. You see that same lilac color. Okay, so just blow in their fur. That's a little tip, blow in their fur. Okay, if you don't see any color rings, then you've got, well, you've got basically a self or a tan rabbit. Now, keep in mind, there are other genes as we go down the line that affects this, okay? And I'm trying to do those one at a time uh, because if I just do a one hour long session here and, and start talking about all the genes, all the locuses and what have you, you're going to be sitting there, huh? And that's what happened to me, okay? You start reading online and studying and what have you and reading books from the library and what have you on rabbit genetics, and you're like, huh? What helps me? I buy the rabbits. Okay, I started off in mini rex. I started off with self rabbits. Okay, I started working with red eyed whites. Uh, I had some Himalayans. I had some. Uh, let's see, what else? I don't know. I guess that and the self and the basic four colors: uh, black, chocolate, blue, and lilac. Or yeah, and, and and started working. I start. At first, I started working with black and chocolate on the B locus. And then I stepped it up a little bit and went to the D locus and started introducing the dilution gene, and that's where these guys come from. And again, see, I'm confusing something that doesn't need to be confusing. On the A locus, you've got agouti, tan, or self. Okay, I showed, I just showed you agouti with the two little netherlands. Okay, these are mini rex. The breed, the genes are the same. Okay, don't say. Don't send me a question tomorrow and say, well, what is what is the otter gene for, uh, heck, I don't know, some other breed that we haven't mentioned today. It's the same, okay? It doesn't matter what breed you've got, okay? Don't complicate things that aren't complicated. Genetics is complicated enough. We don't need to add complications where there are none, though, okay? 
This is a mini Rex. The same genes that make this rabbit a lilac could also make a Netherland dwarf lilac. It can also make a New Zealand lilac, God help us, because that's not, yeah, that's not something that's possible or that should be possible and to my knowledge right now unless somebody's working on that. Uh, but hey, I hope this helps, okay? If this doesn't help or if I didn't give you enough information, well doggone it, you ought to know how to contact me by now. Like my Facebook page. I don't contact me. Uh, Facebook, if you don't want to contact me through the Facebook page, well, contact me on YouTube. Just send me a message. Uh, I get a notification. If you send me a message, I'll get a notification. It might take me a day or two to get back to you. Okay? Uh, because I don't check YouTube notifications as often as I do Facebook notifications. So, if, you, if, if it's something you need to know right away, you probably want to try to do it through the Facebook page because... I check that more often, usually multiple times a day, and I can usually answer it sooner. Okay, so we already put up the agoutis. Got otter? So, that's the A locus of the rabbit's genotype. Okay? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Alright, y'all have a great day. God bless. Aren't they gorgeous? <laughs> Oh, we hate to see him go.